Showing love and kindness to a cat seems like step one in the ownership process. Heck, step one in the life process. However, as most cat owners can probably attest, sometimes life can get in the way of ownership, good ownership, great ownership. And taking care of a cat can become a chore rather than a passion. Showing kindness to a cat, it's all about going above and beyond, appealing to your cat's basic and essential needs, and then taking that next step. How to be kind to a cat, how to show kindness, and dare I say, how to spoil. That is today's topic. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. First things first, let's start things off with fresh food and fresh water. One of the best ways you can show kindness to a cat is by making sure that two of their most essential needs are being met. Always make sure that your pet has fresh water, clean water, and make it a priority to feed your cat wet food designed for your pet's nutritional needs. Keeping your cat healthy when it comes to love and kindness, it doesn't get much more important than ensuring a top quality health through the both food and drink. Next up, what about quality time, quality attention? Cats need you and want you to be hands-on. And while the old stereotype suggests that cats are very independent and don't need us, your pet, or the one in your home, that cat very much needs you. And one way to display your love and kindness is to dedicate time each and every day to your pet. If for no other reason than to let them know that you care. And this attention can come in various forms. A petting session, a cuddle session on the sofa, a grooming session where you help your cat get rid of loose fur and tidy up, or good old-fashioned playtime. Whatever it is, your cat needs positive mental and physical stimulation from you. Engagement of this nature is key, as quality time will help you to build and grow that all-important bond of trust. As time goes along, you'll likely find that your cat will become more than content with just being by your side. Some days, doing a whole bunch of nothing, as long as your pet can do that nothing with you right near you. Attention, your attention. That's one of the greatest acts of kindness that you could ever display. Another way you can display kindness is to make sure that your cat has a safe place within your home. Sort of like a home within the home. A place to relax, a place to sleep, a place to decompress. Inevitably, tensions will grow a bit high within the home, and things that you simply can't control will happen. And when that does happen, your cat will need a safe place to retreat. It's important that your cat has an area all to themselves, giving your cat this spot. That's a beautiful way to show that you care. Sometimes the very best thing you can do for a pet is to give them space. It's all about that push and pull, physical enrichment. It doesn't mean too much if your cat doesn't have some quiet time on the back end of things. Giving your cat a place of peace, that's very important. And speaking of their own place, what about toys? What about a scratching pose? Cats need a place to relax, but they also need the ability to have a bit of fun when you're not around. Allowing your pet to use a scratching pose will allow your pet to blow off a bit of steam, take care of those claws, and oh yeah, in all likelihood, save your furniture. That scratching pose is being used daily, and it'll probably mean that your sofa is safe. This next one, I mentioned it in passing when speaking about the importance of attention, but another way you can show your cat some kindness is through grooming. And I really just can't stress this enough, because grooming your cat is a positive way. It's so positive on many different fronts. Health being one. Anyone had some furball scares in the past with your cat? Your cat coughing and choking on a furball? If you've witnessed it, it's quite scary. Combing your cat, brushing your cat, removing loose fur. Not only is it a bonding activity, it could save your pet's life. Daily grooming. If you do have the time, there really aren't proper words to describe its importance. Another way to show your cat kindness is to learn their language. It never hurts to talk to your pet and let them talk right back to you, especially in the early stages of life. Take time out to get a feel for your cat's personality. This can be extremely helpful as time goes along. Getting a baseline for who your cat is can be the backbone during times of trouble. I've used this example quite often on the channel, but understanding your cat's baseline, well, it can potentially allow you to spot a problem. If your cat is unwell, just the most subtle changes in behavior can spark your attention. Knowing your cat, it means you're able to detect when some things are just not quite right. One of the best things you can do, one of the kindest things you can do, is take time to get to know your cat. Build that relationship. I started things off talking about the importance of food and drink. Well, 
Now it's snack time. You guessed it, cat treats. In moderation, of course, those cat treats can be quite the relationship builder if you're known as the person with the snacks. Oh, what a happy cat we do have. If your pet has been good, had a good week, had a good day, a good month, <laughs> stayed off that bookshelf, a few snacks could be in order. One of the kindest things you could ever do for your cat is to reward the good things. Nothing wrong with a bit of fun food every once in a while. And of course, after all of this water, food, and snacks, a bathroom break will be in order. And as an owner, one of the best things you can do for your pet is to make sure that litter box is always clean and ready to be used. Now, while it's not going to be 100% fresh and clean every single time, if you can clean the litter box once per day, every 24 hours or so, your cat will give you a high five, a high paw, a dirty litter box. This can be a source of great stress and anxiety for your pet. But if the bathroom is clean and the litter is fresh, bathroom breaks can be easy. And your cat can do the business with confidence. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, help me add to this list. How to show kindness to cats. You've heard what I have to offer. Now let me know what I'm missing. What would you add? And are we talking about cats in the home or just cats in general? Another way to be kind, and it probably goes without saying, and that's to adopt. Save a cat. Bring them to your home and make them a major part of your family. What about cats on the street? Stray cats in your neighborhood? If you feel so inclined, give some pets, some good cuddles and pets to a stray, the neighbor's cat that roams around, and a bit of food wouldn't hurt. And if you're like me, there's a chance that you've got some cats in your area that just love to go from door to door, eating from a new menu with each home. A smile, a few pets, and some food, that's one way to display kindness and perhaps spoil that neighborhood cat. And here again, what else would you like to add to this list? Comment section, as always, it's all yours. And before I go, I'd like to quickly share a story regarding some kindness. One of my cats, just a couple of weeks ago, I felt compelled, unfortunately, given the circumstances at the time, to place him up for adoption. Well, 14 days later, exactly two weeks to the date, things changed. The core reason for the decision was no longer a concern, so I went and got my cat back. He's eight years old, and I got him back. He's, oh, it's all I've ever known, all he's ever known. <laughs> but now he's back with me, so I mentioned adoption. In some unique cases, you could find yourself adopting your very own cat 14 days later, after the fact. That's my story of kindness. I rescued my own cat. <laughs> once life worked itself out, I had to make a very tough decision. But once things got sorted, I made the very easy decision to bring him back home where he belongs. If you enjoyed this material, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time... Thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.